attitude, um, uh, like the intensity that we had, the focus, the preparation was very detailed. Um, it showed our guys were excited to play, and uh, what an incredible atmosphere. Um, our fans were something special. Um, to have that type of uh, intensity in the crowd and support and sell out, but again, them cars were going all the way past Pendleton uh, coming in on the bus out from Anderson. That that was a first for me, so that was uh, gives me chills thinking about it. Uh, that was that's cool, and uh, that's when you know you're doing things right and they're coming to watch our guys perform. And uh, really proud of our guys. We have a bunch of guys that played in their first game ever. A number of guys who are first time starters and uh, really answered the bell. And I couldn't, couldn't be more proud. We got some things we gotta show more discipline on, uh, but not many and uh, a lot to build from. Uh, that was just one game and uh, what I, enjoyed about most of it uh, was just the preparation that goes into performing at a, at a high level, being ready to play. And hopefully that's what they take from it more than anything else, because now we got to start over and do the same thing again. And uh, uh, that sh shows a lot of maturity, and uh, a lot of guys, again, feel like they got a lot to prove. And uh, so that's exciting to, to be a part of. Yeah, I mean, it's everything when you're playing it against an option team. Uh, it all starts with that fullback and those guys, uh, you know, getting disruption inside at the mesh point. And those guys did a terrific job. Uh, Scott, Carlos, uh, Rod, Christian, uh, and uh, Jabril. That uh, did, um, most of them, but uh, they did a, a great job. That's where it all starts. They did a great job at one point, staying on their feet and making plays. You were able to really be the point of attack and see almost every play, especially in the first half. How did you get the assignment that you guys were Well, inside out, it was pretty good a few times. We lost some leverage on the perimeter, but again, I know this team, this coaching staff, he's been there 30 plus years. He knows what he's doing. It's not his first rodeo. And I told our guys, they're going to have answers to what we're doing. Okay, we've got an answer. Uh, those answers, we've got to be ready for them, we're ready to make in game adjustments based on how they're attacking us. And, uh, and, uh, and, and so, again, our guys did that. And um, uh, for most of the day, uh, they did a really, again, a, a good disciplined job of taking care of the three phases of the, of the triple. What Scott Pagano showed here in fall camp and then this past week to let, to make you give him the start? Uh, consistency, toughness, coachability. He cares a great deal. He's, he's worked incredibly hard to put him in, himself in this position. He's had to show some patience as well. And, uh, and it, it just is, his overall maturity is, is the biggest uh, anything. Brent, you may have been asked this already, but I mean, did, did these guys like answer some questions for you that maybe you had? Well, again, into um, really going into the game, you felt really good because of the work that they did put in, how they practiced, their film study, uh, their focus uh, when we weren't actually at practice, whether we're in meetings or uh, on the bus, you know, all the way up to our last meeting. It was, uh, it was like, gosh, these guys, and I just think there's a lot of them that were so excited for their, for their first opportunity. We lost a whole bunch of good ones, and there's a lot of guys that have been waiting a long time. A guy like Kevin Dodd that is, he's paid the price. Uh, you know, Shaq Lawson, they've been just waiting. Uh, Shocks play a little bit more than a lot of them, but uh, B.J. Goodson stands, you know, being behind uh, Stefan and those guys, obviously, the great Jarrett, so Stefan Anthony's, and all those uh, guys, and Sean and the crew, uh, Vic, they did a great job bringing these guys along, too, and uh, they were ready for their opportunity today. McKenzie, I guess, you did what now their first series? Uh, he's late for me. Start policy. He's about 30 seconds late when it's late, so discipline. You like it. You gotta have it. You like it? Sure. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> no, I, just, you gotta, I, got, I got kids. When you let those kind of little things go, you know, you start getting cracks and, and, and uh, so hopefully you won't do that again. Adrian did a great job coming in though. He was ready. Pretty pleased with the way you guys played the assignments. Yeah, our, they, positioning, they our, our, our positioning was really pretty good. Um, those are still discipline kind of plays though. You know, uh, you know, I don't play, I'm a backside third player, I don't play the quick screen to the field. I stay in coverage. And when you start losing discipline, people are going to find you. So we'll see. That's not the first time we're going to see those plays now. Because once you, they go sprint, and I'm a backside player, they sprint away from me. Somebody's coming back, and they may not come back uh, for the first two months of the season, but eventually somebody's going to try your throw your throwback responsibilities, and we got caught on that. So those were some 
um, not necessarily concerning, but you know those are great teaching points for us. Uh, uh, reverse, reverse pass, reverse throwback, the sprint throwback, um, handle them. You know some of the adversity. Um, I think when we got the turnovers, we let them score the one time into the end zone, and uh, we guessed wrong uh, one time. But uh, otherwise, we're really pleased. Um, all the work that they put in seems like ball camp went forever, and uh, to see them be able to kind of come out and have some reward for a you know a good start, and that's all it is. It's just a start. We got a long season, and uh, you know the really good ones, the great units, the great teams, the great players love that grind and uh, embrace the grind and it's hard it doesn't get easier from here on out it gets harder and uh so hopefully you know we have that we'll see if we do you know that kind of attitude were you especially pleased with the way your team came out in the first quarter yeah it was awesome yeah uh i just again focus intensity preparation detailed on edge respecting the game uh there's a certain way that you you can't cheat this game so if you come out a little bit off it doesn't matter if you're going uh, you know, against you know a junior college team, a middle school team, or the you know the San Francisco 49ers, you come out and you're 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 disrespecting the game and not on edge and not focused, not reading key, not playing with technique, not playing with effort. You know, you're going to get exposed pretty quick. So uh, to see our guys come out with the right mindset, despite who uh, you know, regardless of whoever it is that we're playing. Uh, is you know gives you a reason to to feel pretty good, but we'll see. You know, uh, see if they can continue to do that. Brent, how do you feel about your how do you feel about your depth right now, and especially at linebacker? Well, them? I mean, I like the guys. They just haven't played very much, and they got to play today, and they did well. So um, I'm okay with it as long as we stay healthy. Thanks a lot.